Welcome back. This is part two of the Magic 8-Ball app. Uh, we previously put together the user interface and the designer. It's got an image. It's got a, a question label. It's got an answer label here that's not filled in yet. And it's got a button that you can press to get an answer. You can also use the accelerometer, uh, or rather components are accelerometer and the sound. Uh, we're going to do the coding right now. Uh, this uh, is how you initialize a list. Oddly, you have to start with a variable. So we want to start we want to create a variable it'll be called answer list and then we pull out a blank list here uh, now with this app we want to have probably five different answers so we'll click on the rotary add driver with the item and then click out of it we also don't want these numbers we're going to want text boxes so let's go on their text put a text box duplicate them it's a fast way to get them in Right, it gives us space for five answers. Let's come up with some answers here. Uh, let's see here. Um, how about no way, Jose. How about in your dreams? Put some positives in. Absolutely. I think yes. And why not? All right, so we got our answers set up there. Next thing we need to do is set up the event, which will actually trigger an answer to come up. So when the answer button, for example, is clicked, answer button is clicked, we want the label to show an answer. So we want to, from the answer label, set the text. This is an interesting thing. What we want to do is get a random item from our list, but we don't need a new list. We can use the variable to get our answer list here. And then the last thing we want to do is make sure we play a sound so we have the sound set. And let's see what happens. A little live test here. All right, so what happens when we press a button to get an answer? What's a question? Is this an amazing video? 